Hey everyone, Casey here. I don't know where Andy is, but I've got to head to Benefits Mythbusters 101. Andy, yes. class is this way. Oh, crap. Welcome to Mythbusters 101. I'm Professor Kevin. Today we're going to learn about benefits. Sorry, we're late. Okay, now that everyone's here, let's get started. Annual enrollment is just a week away. And as you all know, we've got three plans. The PPO Plus, the HDP, and the EPN. The EPN was closed to new entrants in 2019, but if you're in it today, you can stay in it for 2020. The EPN costs more, therefore it's got to be the best, right? Well, not necessarily. It certainly costs more in contributions for lower out-of-pocket costs during the year. But a lot of the features are the same as the PPO Plus, like preventive care at 100%, co-pays for office visits, and the prescription drug plan. Oh, okay, I get it now. So it sounds like the EPN is basically the PPO Plus. Not exactly. There are three key differences in terms of how you pay for inpatient and outpatient, like deductible, coinsurance, and out-of-pocket max. It's things like office visits, which are paid for by co-pays that are the same. Well, of course, all plans have co-pays for office visits. Not true. In many plans, you pay for these the same way you pay for other services, through a deductible and coinsurance. The Verizon HDP is like that. Well, nobody should enroll in that plan. It's obviously more surreal. Well, that's not necessarily true. It is true that deductible and out-of-pocket max are higher in that plan, and more services are subject to it, like office visits. And the costs are the same as the PPO, so really you're paying the same for less. Okay, so that part is true, but what you're missing is the health savings account. It's a powerful way to save money for health care. If you enroll in the HDP, Verizon will put money in that account on your behalf. But once again, you can only use a health savings account if you enroll in the HDP. But I can use a health spending account any plan, right? I don't even know what class this is. Gentlemen, there's a health savings account and a health care spending account. They are two different things. It's too bad we don't have any resources to help employees with complex topics. Uh, hello, we do. You can go to your annual enrollment's landing page and visit your benefits guide in your enrollment videos. And when your enrollment period starts, you can also go to Benefits Connection and access your health plan comparison charts and your summary plan descriptions. Isn't that right, Professor Kevin? Thank you, Marcy. Class, that covers it for today. Until next time, you're up to speed.